She hasn't been herself lately. What do you mean? It's been tough on her, being away from Rome. Well, maybe that's part of the problem. Not everyone's suited for the quiet. I can't bear the thought of being here forever. If you keep acting like this, I'm going to go, David, and I won't come back, I promise you that. I've heard stories, you know, back in Reykjavik. You know, there was a drowning here last week. You should have seen her. Oh, God. to ask you, you and Marie, how'd you meet? You two seem close. We met in Reykjavik a year ago, after she married Johan. They have a house there as well. Her and Johan seems like kind of an odd pairing. Why? Because of his age? No, no, it's just, uh, look at the way she was at the party. I barely even spoke. That's how she is. Johan's always there to give her attention. Why not get it from others when they're around? Well, that seems selfish. That's because it is. Marie has a hard time seeing things from other people's perspective. I'm sure it's tough on Johan. It would be for anyone. And that doesn't affect your view on her at all. She's my friend, and I really don't wish to judge. I find that so boring. Well, I guess there is something about her. It draws you in. If you're so curious about Marie, then why don't you go over there? She's probably still awake. Don't do that. What? So quick to assume trouble. So quick. Blame it on bad experiences, I guess. And the fact that I can never say what I'm thinking. That's a problem. Maybe you should talk to someone about that. 